Hello, I'm Jessica Bamber. I'm the most interesting woman in the world, and I'm going to show you how to replace the alternator belt on a 2002 Subaru Outback wagon. And uh, the alternator belt also drives the power steering. So mine was squealing, it broke, and I noticed that when I pulled off to the side of the road, I had no power steering, and that's why. Got my 10 millimeter socket on my wrench, and we've got to remove a nut here, bolt here, bolt here. I've actually already got these ones loose, so they're gonna pop right out. Gotta loosen this one. With that nut gone and those two bolts gone, this comes right off. With the 12 millimeter socket, we're going to loosen this right here. Oops, socket's still on, you can see it right there. I actually had to pull out the breaker bar on this one right here because I'm kind of weak. Ruined the adapter on my Pittsburgh Harbor Freight socket set. We'll see if Harbor Freight will take that back or replace it rather. Anyway, I'm gonna pop this off. And you actually don't have to pop that off all the way. It's a really long bolt. Just loosen it and pull this cover off. I don't have the belt that goes here to my AC compressor. The compressor was bad. I wasn't ready to replace it, so took that belt off. This belt here is what broke and caused me the headache this morning. So we're going to replace that. Here we are. We're going to loosen that bolt right there and that bolt. That's the adjusting bolt. That's going to make it so that if the belt were still on, we could loosen it and remove it. Since the belt is now off, it's going to make it so that we can put the belt on and then tighten everything up. Here they are from a different angle. So it's that one and that one. And I had to pull my breaker bar out for this one because it was tight. I've got it loose, so I'm just going to loosen it some more and then loosen that one. And since I don't have a belt on that I need to get off, I don't actually know how loose I need to make it. I got the belt on all of those pulleys. So now I'm gonna do everything in reverse. I'm gonna tighten that nut. I'm gonna tighten that bolt and then I'll put the covers on and I'm not gonna show you as I tighten them, but you know, tighten them. I'm gonna work this nut here until our belt is nice and tight. Not sure how tight to make this belt. So I called my husband and asked. He said I needed about half an inch of deflection, which means that here you can see my belt is at the one inch mark. If I put some pressure on it, my belt should be able to go down half an inch. And it's kind of hard for me to demonstrate while holding the camera and the ruler, but I think you get the idea. So I think I might actually have it a little bit too tight right now. I will figure that out while I'm not holding a camera. My husband said that a lot of people have their belts too loose. He also said it's a bit of guessing game because with enough pressure you could get half an inch of deflection. I'm not really too worried about myself putting too much pressure on the belt because I'm just not that strong. And then I asked him what happens if it's too loose. He said I could wear out the bearings in my alternator. This belt doesn't drive a water pump. If it did, I could wear out the bearings in my water pump, but it doesn't drive a water pump. It drives the uh, power steering pump. So basically if your belt's too loose, you can wear out belt. Sorry, if your belt's too loose, it can come off. If your belt is too tight, it can wear out the belt or the bearings faster than it should. I'm comfortable with the amount of deflection I've got, so now we're gonna tighten up this one here with our 12 millimeter socket. Now, this one is what's gonna keep the alternator from moving around on the bracket. So you need to make sure that this one is tight enough. Otherwise, your belt may end up loosening up on you and you wouldn't want that. I'm comfortable with how tight that bolt is. So now it's time to put the covers on. I'm going to put this one on. 
Then we're gonna put this one on, and I'm not gonna make you watch me do this on camera, but remember, we had to put the 10 inch socket on, put that bolt over, sorry, that nut over there, and then we'll put our bolts there and there, tighten them down, and we should be good to go. Here we are, car starts right up, the battery light didn't come on, or battery light turned off, which means my alternator's charging my battery. Hopefully this is the end of today's misadventure. I have to be to court first thing tomorrow morning in another state. So pretty easy repair job. I'd say so easy, even an attorney can do it. 